Let's talk about math magic. I like to joke that higher level of math kind of seems like dark magic. What else could these unnatural symbols be used for except for summoning demons? But having spent time researching occultism, one does encounter some interesting uses for numbers. There is, of course, numerology, also sometimes referred to as gematria. It is the ancient art of interpreting meaning from words and names by reducing them to numbers. Geometric shapes are quite common in various designs, sigils, and implements, and magic circles. One of the most popular of those is the pentagram. And, of course, let's not forget the magic squares themselves. The classic ones range from 3x3 three three all the way up to 9x9, nine nine, and each of them has a planet assigned to it. These grids of numbers are assigned so that each column and row, as well as the diagonals, add to the same number. You can find quite a bit of math in the world of mystic arts. I, however, would like to suggest a kind of new technique which I myself haven't seen used before. Now, there are many ways to make magic sigils. And if you really dive into the subject of occult magic, you can encounter a whole lot of them. The idea is that these things can somehow act as charms. One common technique is to condense a word into an abstract symbol that can later be used as a talisman. The theory here is that the intent of the word becomes hidden in the subconscious spirit realm, somehow working behind the scenes of reality. This, however, I decided to take to a whole new level using calculus magic, of course. So let's take our word and designate a number to each letter. We then add those numbers together and get 54. Now here's the real deal. We make a calculus equation for this number. So let's just make some random integral and add a dumb summation. The real part of this exercise is to rearrange the operation so that it forms a pictogram. Indeed, a sigil made out of not letters, but the math expression itself. And of course, this can be turned into an actual pendant. Bless it with a little prayer, and boom. Math magic at its finest. If you're into that kind of stuff, enhancing your charms with a little calculus might be the thing for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video. And thank you for watching.